Hey guys, welcome back to the Toy Grid. My name is Thismaster and I'm bringing you another toy review. So today I'm talking about um, the Black, uh, the Star Wars Black Series uh, Count Dooku. So, so yeah, um, like I said in my previous video that since I did like the Clone Wars figures like Anakin and Obi-Wan and then Echo and Cody and also Asajj Ventress now uh, right now I I happy that I have um Dooku uh Count Dooku and I happen to have it uh, for a while now it just I got him uh months ago <laughs> so it just now I'm review reviewing him but overall I'm really happy that I got him in in my collection with with the Clone Wars era and yeah um he wasn't my favorite favorite character um, in the movies, but in the show I really grew to like him even more. So with the help of the show, really, really got me to like the character a little bit more. So yeah, that's why I got him, and, and also I like his his appearance, his elegancy, like like he takes in the in the show. So yeah, and so yeah, I just want to. Uh, I, I'm happy to say that I wanted to review him today. So yeah, uh, let's get started. Um, as you can see, he's out of the box. Like I said, I got him months, months ago. So yeah, uh, I wanted to display him and all that. And also, I just wanted to check he's he came um, not defective or anything like that. Um, so yeah, um, this as you can see, this is the old style box that the Black Series, uh, Black Series was coming out. Uh, just black and red. Um, so, so the new one, if you see my Sasha Ventures uh, video, um, this is what the new box looks like. And also, if you've seen other Star Wars um, um, figure collectors, uh, you know, they show you the box. This is the new type of box it, it comes out right now. So, yeah, I'm pretty much delay on it. It's just saying it, but for just saying for the, those who don't know yet, just. All right, moving on. But yeah, <laughs> overall, uh, this is the old style box. You can see Count Dooku uh, image right in the front. And you go to the side, it says Count Dooku. And in the back, it says his bio. It, say, it says Count Dooku was a menacing Sith Lord, Sith Lord and central, uh, central fi uh, figure in the Clone Wars. Once a Jedi... And once a Jedi, he became disillusioned with the Jedi Order, order and uh, drifted for for greater power. So, so yeah, that's pretty much his bio. Sorry if I was stumbling all over the place. Um, and I, the this thing, the this thing I was, um, distance I was reading it uh, was tripping me off. But yeah, this is the figure, the one uh, for the line. This is the 107. If you were curious about that, so yeah. Uh, all red the number right there and yeah, that's pretty much it, it for the box um, So yeah, let's get right into the figure So for Count Dooku you guys this accessory he's come with his iconic um, Lightsaber is as you can see it's a lot different than the other lightsabers. It's uh, like a hilted lightsaber It's just like making a curve like and also is it like uh, out of the all of the lightsabers um, we've seen in Star Wars universe pretty much this one I really like it's pretty much the more unique out of the bunch it's you know it's more curve curve wise it was it's not like a straight up um, lightsaber really straight um, in balance and and this one is more like like a curve to the side so I really like um, the the way um it looks uh it's pretty it's super iconic even though a lot of people don't they don't like um count dooku they really like the design of his lightsaber and it's a really nice design overall uh let me take the beam saber out like the peg here um there you go so you can see a little bit closer like this look like when he's um turned off um there's a little peg right here so when you can attach it to his belt um to put it away as his holster um yeah i can show you that a little bit later i really like the detail they did for the lightsaber i really like the red paint and added to the trigger here 
um, yeah, it's it's a pretty much um, a really well painted um, accessory uh, for the lightsaber. I, they did a really nice job with that. Um, also, um, Count Dooku doesn't only come with just uh, his lightsaber with a regular um, beam. Um, he comes with a, an effect piece on the side, uh, a beam that kind of has the a whoosh, <laughs> uh, whoosh sound. You know, when when they're moving the lightsaber at a really fast pace, it has the effect, like the wave movement, and you can see like the after effects. Like when the lightsaber going forward, you see the after effects um, in the back. So when you can attach it here, once you take the regular one out, um, there we go. So when when you attach the saber to that Count Dooku, you get the appearance that he's waving the saber, like having the effect that he's moving it really fast. And yeah, it looks it looks really nice. I really like that it came with that accessory. It's a really nice accessory. They didn't, they could have not done that, but I'm really glad that Hashbro gave us this effect piece. It looks really cool. Uh, the only thing I wish he would have come with another accessory would be ex exchangeable hands. So he could have like a lightning effect in one of the hands. But but yeah, overall, I, I really like um, what he comes with. Just saying that it would have been nice to have that extra accessory, but overall, it's a nice um, two accessory that it came with. So here is a closer look of Dooku, and yeah, I really like this figure. Um, the I, what I really impressed me for this figure is the the molding, like the photo realistic of the head. For this figure, uh, it looks uh, great. It looks phenomenal. Um, this is a great interpretation of Christopher Lee. May um, Christopher Lee, uh, may he rest in peace. He was a really amazing actor, uh, one of the uh, greatest actors in our gen generation, I, I will say, because um, I see some of his movies, especially with Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, and other old ones. And he's... And he's really a, a great actor, and yeah, uh, I was really sad when I heard about him that he passed away, and I think it was in 2015, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, it's been uh, yeah, it's really sad, isn't it? but but when he played um, Count Dooku in Star Wars, he, I would say even though a lot of people didn't like him in in the movies, because it just we didn't get a lot of going on with him in the movies in the Clone Wars yes but in the movies not so much so not a lot of people like him but uh, I did like in the movie how well he was he carried himself pretty much when he entered the room like he had like such elegance elegancy <laughs> like pretty well a uh, proper manner even though he was a, a villain he was well proper with manners you know <laughs> Uh, so yeah, he wasn't like a brooding bad guy, like saying like, "Oh, I'm going to destroy the world and stuff like that. Nah, he was a well sophisticated, suave uh, bad guy. So yeah, I really, I really like his, um, his character um, in the show and also even now in the movies, but in the show, I really like him even more. So yeah, the, it, it's a really well interpretation of Christopher Lee. And also, you know, the character Count Dooku, uh, when he played it in the movies, um, it's the same face <laughs> uh, we've seen in the movies. And so, yeah, it's the same facial expression. So they, Hashbro did a really nice job with doing so. So I, I really commend them for, um, give them applause for doing that. So yeah, it was a really well um, recreation for this figure um, in the Black Series line. And yeah, and I really like, even though uh, his costume is pretty well, like, nah, the most memorable costume, I would say, but it's a really well, nice costume, like, they gave him in the movie, and this is how he is, look, in the movie. Um, I, I, what I really like about this figure, that it's, uh, the cape that he wears is fabric, it's a fabric cape that you can move it around and do whatever it's not like a plastic cape that we get in some of our figures and some of the uh toy lines that we get uh, when we buy one 
So yeah, I'm w really glad they went with this direction. Just give him a uh, fabric cape. And yeah, I really like uh, a lot about this figure. It's, it's a really nice, well-made figure. Um, if you couldn't see his arms, I put him like in the back. It has that that look to it. Like doesn't show like he's you know still proper but menacing either way. But yeah, um, I really like it. Um, looks really well. Um, so you can see here, there's a peg like a hole right here, so you can put the lightsaber. I will put it in just a second. I just want to show you like it has well neck um, articulation. Uh, he can look not so far too up, but he can look really well down, like far down. And he has neck swivel, and he can turn 360. Um, his arm can go all the way around, like so. Um, yeah, the cape won't get in the way. Um, he has, uh, I don't think he has double jointed elbows, but pretty much a singular um, elbow. Uh, so yeah, like this, um, and since he's wearing kind of like, I want to say a skirt, but like a skirted piece, uh, he still has well flexible movements, um, like this, um, you could spread his leg apart, um, the, the skirt piece right here doesn't, won't get in the way, um, so that's good, um, he has Oh, uh, knees articulation there and also boot uh, boots swivel and going up and down also so yeah tri sorry I'm trying to keep the camera on the on the figure I just trying to remember so I don't go up <laughs> and you guys won't see anything but yeah um yeah like I said I kind of wish he had um, an exchangeable hand so we could have like the lightning effect going out because in the show and movie he does his lightning um, technique with his hands. So yeah, I kind of wish we had that, but that's okay. I, I really don't mind it. Uh, but if they decided to release him in the future, that would be a nice touch. Just saying. Um, yeah, let me get the lightsaber. Um, yeah, you attach, detach it. And you can put it right here on the peg right here. Oops. Yeah, you just got to make sure it will go on the peg so it doesn't fall off like you saw there. So yeah, here it is. Here's down uh, Count Dooku with his lightsaber on the hill, um, his belt. So if you want him, like when you take photos of him or display him on your shelf with his lightsaber tucked away, you could do that like so. You don't have to like put it on the side and you know uh like before like we couldn't put the accessory like a lightsaber on the carry um of, of a jedi or sit belt but now we can't so yeah <laughs> um just happy about that so so yeah um yeah i'm pretty happy overall with this figure right here so so yeah it's a really nice figure if you're Looking for Count Dooku um, to be displayed with your Clone Wars figure, this is a really nice figure to get. So for a side comparison, here is Count Dooku alongside with her uh, student, Asajj Ventress. So yeah, um, uh, just to show you that the, the side comparison, pretty much that Dooku is a little bit taller than her. And also, um, I don't know if you can tell, but her lightsabers are pretty much the same the same as Dooku. I don't know if I didn't mention that earlier. But yeah, just since he's the master to her, like, she's the apprentice. So, so yeah, that's pretty much like she got the lightsaber curve also from because of him. So yeah, I really like um, just seeing them um, two together. They look great. Here is um, Dooku alongside with... Um, best uh, best pin uh, Luke. Uh, so yeah, uh, uh, Dooku is still um, still taller than than him. Um, I thought he would be the same um, height, but not pretty much. Uh, Dooku out heights um, Luke. Here is um, Dooku alongside with Anakin, uh, the Clone Wars version, and and yeah, uh, Dooku is a, a little bit much taller. 
uh, still. <laughs> Here is uh, Dooku alongside with Movie Venom from Marvel Legends. Here's Dooku alongside with Leia. And here's Dooku alongside with Nega Super Shredder. And here is Dooku alongside with his 2008 release um, of the Clone Wars. And again, I had this figure for a very long time. This is the animated um, figure look that came out back then. And yeah, this is, uh, as you can see, a lot of newer interpretation of Count Dooku. And you can see like his face um, here is a more animated look. Um, his head doesn't look like that. And also like um, his beard doesn't look like that in the live action um, movies. So yeah, so here um, they just decided to take a different approach when it came to the animation for the look. But pretty much this is what we've seen on Count Dooku in the movies, so yeah, this is pretty much how he's supposed to look. But overall, uh, I'm really happy that I have these two and to do the comparison. So that's it for the video, you guys. Thank you for watching again. I really, I really appreciate your time just coming on um, to my channel, just seeing um, uh, my videos, my figure reviews. Um, I'm really having a fun time just making these. Uh, for sure, uh, more art to come. For sure. <laughs> so yeah. Um, again, if you're if you're really looking forward to collecting, like um, when it comes to Clone Wars stuff, and if you want to like to to make a, like a Clone Wars um, shelf of in Star Wars, um, you cannot go wrong with getting this figure uh, of Count Dooku in the Black series. I think it's a really nice interpretation of him. Um, so yeah, um, if you're, you're trying to decide, oh, which figure I want, like, for, like, which Count Dooku I want in my shelf, I will say this one. Like, I, I haven't have in my hands, like, the past Count Dookus that came out in the past, but I've seen them, and, you know, having this one in hand, um, just comparison, uh, with the old one, uh, with the other ones that came out before him. I will say if you want this type of six inch scale figure, you cannot go wrong with this one. Um, so yeah, um, hey, yeah. again, if you really want to get this figure uh, for your Clone Wars um, shelf and stuff like that, for or even just collecting everything Star Wars, you cannot go wrong with this figure. Um, yeah, um, uh, right now I, uh, I double check and if you want this figure, um, and, a, and a good price you can go on Amazon they have it still for $20 so if you want him go get him it's still at, at a really good price and you cannot go wrong with uh, with this figure for sure I'm really happy with it so uh, whoever comes to across um, for uh, looking for this figure um, if you think you might want to buy him later you can but again, just keep an eye out for the prices because you think uh, with some figures you think, yeah, I'll pass, get him later, and then all of a sudden the prices skyrocket out of, out of nowhere. Uh, but yeah, just keep an eye eye out for that. For not just for this figure particularly, just all the figures if you're interested in. But yeah, again, that's it. That's all I wanted to go over. Uh, for this figure and yeah i'll see you guys on the next video uh, if you want to see more just you know hang around on the channel just uh again uh i don't update like daily but when i update i hope i hope it's good um well uh, keep you well entertained with the the review so yeah um again hope you like it and i'll see you guys next time take care